This is what this nationally known, famous, mega church, coffee shop preacher said. His quote is, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Now he's saying that in a mocking way. He said, this is where our trouble began. He said, the implication is, the Bible is the reason we believe. I can believe Jesus loves me because it's in the Bible. The problem with that is this. If the Bible is the foundation of our faith, as the Bible goes, so goes our faith. If the Bible is the foundation of our faith, it is all or nothing. Amen. Amen. Christianity becomes a fragile house of cards religion. Christianity uh, becomes a ha fragile house of cards that comes tumbling down when we discover that perhaps the walls of Jericho didn't. You know what he's telling you? He's telling you, oh, the archaeologists have been to Jericho and they determined that the walls didn't really fall down. Fooey on that! Scientists say that there is no whale on the earth that is, is capable of swallowing a whole man and holding it in his stomach. Fooey on that! Amen. Science has determined the earth is uh, uh, three and a half million years old and we used to be monkeys. Nonsense! Amen. Listen, this man hates the Bible. He said, everything rises and falls on whether not part, but all of the Bible is true. It is true, you idiot! What is wrong with you? And he said, that's unfortunate, and as we are going to discover today, unnecessary. The Christian faith does not exist because of the Bible. The Bible exists because of the Christian faith. Liar! Man's a liar! There's the quote. Those of you watching online, you can go dig it up. Guess who said this? Andy Stanley. He is the son of Charles Stanley. Look at this. Look at this one. He's got up here, we look to our religious traditions. Our problem is tr tradition, systemized, customized, or overemphasized and fossilized. The Bible said to follow the traditions given to us by the apostles. Paul told that Timothy. Look at what he said here. He said, guys that preach verse by verse through books of the Bible, he said, that is just cheating. It's cheating because that would be easy. First of all, that isn't how you grow people. He's a liar. Deceiving people in church. Telling them, oh, don't read your Bible. Reading your Bible is bad. You won't get anything from God reading your Bible. Because the Bible may be wrong. And if the Bible's wrong, then your faith is wrong. You know what? He's right on that. But I'm going to tell you something, sir. The Bible is not wrong. Never has been, never will be. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand. Makes me sick. Watch this now. Listen, that man has already been judged by God. Ezekiel 14. Turn there. I'm going to start reading while you're turning. The word, because I'm getting hungry. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out mine hand upon it, and I will break the staff of the bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith the Lord God. This man may be thinking that because daddy was a preacher, and daddy's accepted all of them, then I'll be okay because I'm his son. God said, so what if I save his daddy? That's not going to protect you. And I'm just saying, I don't know anything about this man other than what I just showed you. But you know what I suspect based upon what I just read you out of the Bible? I suspect that he has grievous transgressions behind the scenes. That's what I think. Isaiah 32, 6. For the vile person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. That's what he did. People are coming to church because they need food for their soul. And the preacher causes them, he empties their soul and causes them to be hungry by telling them, oh, don't eat that Bible. That's not, that's not where it is. 
You know what he just said to everybody? Follow me, I'll give you the truth. 